You're watching the news summary on Geo.TV. I'm Avas Jafar. While Pakistani athletes trained to grab some medals, a row between the Pakistan Olympic Association and the Pakistan Sports Board could mar their chances of making the nation proud. The POA has argued that the International Olympic Committee's charter does not allow state bodies to meddle in national federations affiliated with the Pakistan Olympics Association. The International Olympic Committee will announce their verdict on the matter later tonight. An argument over money between butchers and union members in Karachi's Sohrab Goat area near Alasif Square resulted in a gunfight claiming three lives and leaving five injured, including two policemen. According to police, two assailants have been arrested and their weapons seized. In other incidents of violence across the city, six more people lost their lives. Former U.S. Ambassador to Pakistan Cameron Munter says Pakistan had no knowledge about Osama bin Laden's whereabouts, nor did Pakistan have knowledge about the May 2nd raid that killed Osama bin Laden in Abbottabad. You are confirming what Peter Bergen has written that yeah. Pakistanis were not aware about the presence of Osama bin Laden in Abbottabad. Right. In other words, when I said to you that I wasn't sure, you can never be sure about who knows what. All I can say is that at my, it, at my position, that, that statement saying that the Pakistanis were not aware of this, uh, this, uh, this, this raid and this presence, that's right. I think that the, uh, it's, it's absolutely unjust that Dr. Afridi is in prison. He's a hero. He's someone who fought against Pakistan's enemies, and we think he should be free. He was fighting against the enemies of Pakistan without telling the government of Pakistan. Mm -hmm. Well, what he did served Pakistan very well. And I think that it would be, uh, uh, it's, it's, it's terrible that he's in prison. He's a hero. The full interview will be aired on Geo News on Monday.